Good afternoon. I'm Norfolk Police Chief Larry D. Boone. On Tuesday, August 25th, 2020, around 10.15 p.m., the Norfolk Police Department responded to the 800 block of East Princess Anne Road for a report of a gunshot disturbance. When the officers arrived on scene, they located five gunshot victims, including a one-month-old infant. The infant was transported to the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughter with life-threatening injuries. The child is currently listed in critical but stable condition. The four adults were transported to Sentara Norfolk General Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries and are expected to be okay. We have a human being that has barely been on this earth for 30 days, and they are already a statistic of gun violence. What a horrible first impression of what life can be like in this world. Unfortunately, in some cases, it appears that the community has become desensitized to this type of shooting. Just three months ago, Hampton Roads, our nation, and countries around the world joined together for mostly peaceful protests to highlight police reform, community policing, and disparities that exponentially affect black and brown people and communities at opportunity. COVID-19 is a virus that has taken thousands of lives, and yet we risk its pervasive threat to march in these streets for the change we wish and work to realize together. Yet and still, I await the outcry, the calls, emails, and unmitigated powerful synergy that led this summer's movement for social justice to impact Norfolk's gun violence and Hampton Roads. We're here again when the crying cease, tears dry, neighborhood memorials with candles and balloons are deflated. So goes that same energy to affect this crisis in our own backyard. If we are truly in this together, let's get together. For we all perish. I'm asking again for actionable partnerships that support mentorship of our youth employment, and educational trade opportunities for young men in these communities whose hope and self-esteem lies within a gun in the palms of their hands. The senseless shootings of guns yield results which families are forever fractured. This is not a problem for the police to solve. This is a societal problem. And until we look at it at that direction, Things will never change.